was in Paris. I was born in Beirut, Lebanon. I was born in Montreal, Canada. I was born in Baghdad, Iraq. I was born in Glendale, California. I was born in Harar, Ethiopia. I was born in Syria. I was born in Istanbul. For the first time in many generations, diaspora Armenians have an opportunity to help rebuild a newly independent Armenia. For the past 17 years, Land and Culture Organization has been involved in preserving and rebuilding historical Armenian landmarks. LCO's strength lies in its dedicated volunteers who donate one month of their summer in the villages of Armenia. This is the story of the individuals who make a difference. Rafi Kojun. I'm a business student at UC Riverside. At EXM. I don't have a title, and I only have a high school diploma. Vlad Tomasian. Student and also work part-time. My name is Shant Chikadian. I plan to major when I go to college in engineering and minoring in business management. My name is Alina Hakopian. Now I'm attending USC. Sarkis Khachikian. Student of architecture. This was, for me, a chance to like get close and get reacquainted with my own culture and to just help out in any way I could. I think definitely one volunteer can make a difference. Just if you move one stone from here to there, it's made a difference. Not just by the actual physical work, but just by them seeing you do that and the involvement, I think that makes the biggest impact. Seven, what is this one about? I just wanted to go and help out and see what it's like there mostly. And showing you them that we're there and we care too, that's important. Uh, we all have some sort of tie to our ancestral lands. And we have uh, uh, some ties in, in the culture that is connected with the land. You just to be able to renew that and be able to uh, renew it in ourselves, about our lands and about our culture is very satisfying. This is something I've always wanted to do, going and giving all I can. There's no like goal I want to reach because I don't think there's a limit to how much I can give and do for the people there. That's one more source of support for the people there, one more hand to help rebuild or um, encourage them, anything that one individual can do. What I give to the local and what gives all the group to the local uh, is, I think, the most part is the, the, to, that, the, that people can see the interest of all the Armenians from the diaspora. And I think it's very important to rebuild the church because the church is, a sense, in, in a sense, the, um, the, the symbol of the gathering of, of, the, of the villagers. So I think that a village should be built around the church. So it's, 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 it's very symbolic. We could have come with uh, a lot of teens and foods, but I think it's much more important because it gives the people the spirit of uh, more than surviving, but developing themselves. We want these young people to feel that these lands belong to them and then create an occasion for these young people to go and toil the earth, work, get in touch with the land, uh, sweat there, uh, struggle, live, join with the people who live already on that land and have that communion with the land, with the earth. And uh, I believe that whoever goes, whatever young people born in Los Angeles or in New York or in Buffalo or uh, Florida, once he goes or she goes to Armenia, she gets that feeling of the land when he or she steps on that land, he will feel, she will feel that that land is his and there will be a union of the land and of its people. I wanted to uh, have a reason, a chance to go to Armenia and be involved in something uh, productive and good for the people over there. 
and maybe this one uh, will help me do that. One volunteer will make difference on the person, on the volunteer, and also on the villager. The locals like us a lot, and they think it's a very good idea that all the way 10, 12,000 miles away, we travel on, to Armenia, and we eat the same food, and we live the life that they live. And they think that it's very good that we always go there, especially when they see us going back. They think that we like it, and we want to do it. We were not forced to go there and help him. Armenians have survived for generations in other countries because the country was there, the land was there, the replenishment was there. Once you cut off that replenishment, at least in a generation, then it's going to go. They come from France, they come from Belgium, they come from America, um, second generation, third generation. You can't say anybody typical except the... They want to do something different. They want to have an adventure and an experience. There's some kind of a need. There's something there that's missing in their life. Um, they want to feel useful. They want to feel they made a contribution. And to me, it's very important that this be your first experience in Armenia, working on the land. So the idea you have is you should be helping your homeland. You've done something. And when you come back, you feel, again, replenished. The people need moral support or emotional support more than anything else right now. By seeing people from other countries coming here and helping them, they probably get encouragement, uh, you know. Uh, they probably feel like they're not alone and there are pe other people are thinking about them. You know, directly helping the people, uh, doing things that other organizations weren't doing, like restoring churches and building uh, dryers or things like people needed, so. I was interested in that more than other things. And I wanted to do physical work more than office work.